Big story before race two of the Women's Skeleton World Cup was the absence of Olympic champion Lizzie Arnold, who won the season opener in Lake Placid. But when it gets down to the nitty gritty in the second run, it's all about who's here and not who isn't. Rose McGrandall, disappointing first run. Better second, left her in the lead with Janine Flock of Austria on the ice. And the Austrian girl made no mistakes, easing into the lead with four sleds remaining. Two of which were young Germans. Tina Herrmann, fourth after the first heat. She had a great second slide, squeezed just in front of the Austrian to take the lead with three to go. Would she have a chance of winning a medal? The gaps were close enough, any of the top seven could have done it. Third place after heat one, Sophia Griebel, the more experienced of the two German girls. Veteran Tina Anya Huber failed to perform in Calgary, so it was down to the youngsters. But Griebel, after a good run out in Lake Placid, couldn't stay in the medals. And that meant Tina Herman was guaranteed her first World Cup medal. Another first time podium finish potentially for Great Britain. Laura Dees in the absence of Lizzie Arnold flying the flag. Good first run, good second run, and she had the lead with one to go two first-timers on the podium and not quite a first-timer. Local heroine Elizabeth Vache took silver in Lake Placid behind Lizzie Arnold, leading after the first heat. If there were any nerves, they didn't show in a fluid, relaxed slide to her first ever World Cup win in only her second race. Half the track was covered with friends and family, her dad at the bottom to greet her as she took win number one of her career. Laura Dees and Tina Herman rounding out a young, exciting podium. And it's Varche, the points leader at Christmas. For FIBT TV, I'm Martin Haven.